uh, someone who's low up, you know, low income, someone who worked their way up. A lot of you may not know, but 10 years ago, I was actually a stay-at-home mom and didn't have an education, didn't have any opportunity or hope. And it wasn't until my parents' business was actually going down during the recession that I was able to come into the workforce, get my education through Houston Community College Online, transferring to the University of Houston while raising three kids, and graduating and being an asset to my community, something that I enjoy the most. It's a, a huge privilege for me. I don't take it lightly. I'm a very uh, faith-based person. I believe that God has placed me in a lot of places to help. And so that's how I approach things. I don't do it for my own ego, for me. Everything is for the honor and glory of God. And I make sure that people know that and people feel that because it doesn't come from me, it comes from God. So i um, more than happy to serve my community. It's a big sacrifice for me because I am a mother of four. But I do it because, especially for the arts, uh, children need art. My kids, sometimes I have a hard time finding programs. I have a hard time trying to find some of these resources. And I can't imagine someone who's in the same position as me trying to find an opportunity for their children. So hopefully I can bring you know some of the local and experiences that I have and bring that and be an asset for the Houston Arts Alliance. And definitely, like I said, doing everything for the honor and glory of Jesus. Thank you, uh, that's a personal story that you shared. I think it's motivation and inspiration to so many others that are out in the community trying to balance it all. And you have been able to demonstrate that it can be done. And we really appreciate all of your commitments. And I know that there are many of them that you've made to the city of Houston and our broader community. So thank you so much and congrats. Thank you. We need to help you. And those, those questions, those hard questions you asked, do not hesitate. Because if you have those questions, just like you said, then how many others have those same questions? The resources, what I find is sometimes in this bubble downtown, is everyone assumes everyone else knows, and they don't. And that's a real issue. So you are gonna bring a fresh apple to the table, and we appreciate it. And you're also a very strong businesswoman that has proven herself, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much.